welcome back to another YouTube video. Um, it's lovely to see your beautiful faces today. If you are new here, hello, my name is Steph. I do a lot of reaction videos. Today, we're going to be reacting or we're going to be continuing the MCU. We are going to be watching the Avengers. We just finished watching uh, Captain America, the first Avenger. Uh, so now we're heading over to this one. I don't think I've seen this one. I tried remembering and I don't remember anything. Um, and I'm assuming, I don't know if maybe this is where I stop. I don't know, but I don't think I've watched this one. But as you guys know, as we continue them or as we watch the film, I will, you know, say things or, or, you know, keep you updated on where my mind goes when it comes to if I've watched it before, just like Captain America. Um, anyway, also if you'd like to have access to all of my reactions early access to my reactions um also being a part of choosing the exclusive films and shows that i watch for you uh currently we just finished watching sicario um and a knight's tale and we're continuing game of thrones uh as you guys know patreon is always ahead of all of those uh especially game of thrones a couple of episodes in and we are currently on episode uh nine at the moment and then we're also continuing Clone Wars on Patreon as well. That's exclusive only for Patreon. Uh, what else? And then you also gain access to our Discord um, where we have movie nights every month. And I'm also trying to be more active on there as well uh, for the people who are on there. And what else? Besides that, uh, you can head over to my Patreon if you like to be a part of that. And then if you guys ever just want to come talk about the shows and movies that we watch, um, I do stream on Twitch and we sometimes just talk about random stuff or deep stuff or uh, we play games sometimes. Uh, we haven't played a game in a while, but I'm really excited for Little Nightmares this year. And uh, we talked about Hell Divers the other day on stream. So just little things like that. But anyway, all those links will be down below. And... Uh, I guess besides that, I think let's just head into uh, the Avengers. I, I'm i kind of excited. To, I, I'm assuming that there's obviously going to be some type of villain or something. So I'm excited to see that. Um, also because in Captain America, uh, Red Skull. What was it with Red Skull? Oh, yeah. With Red Skull, he he had a hold of the of the cube, but he like... The word I was looking for was dissipated. Um, he didn't really, it didn't seem like he actually died or like disintegrated. It was more like he got transition or like tran uh, tr transferred to elsewhere, which now that I think about it, it's similar to how, well, maybe not too similar, but like Loki's whole disappearance was also kind of strange because of the ending of Thor. But yeah, uh, I won. I I wonder if Red Skull's gonna show up on this one. So I guess I guess we'll just see. That's like the one thing that I'm thinking about, just because we were talking about the villain stuff. I'm also really excited because they're gonna meet each other, right? Like they're gonna kind of. Oh, I'm excited. I'm assuming they're gonna meet each other, and like their humor is gonna be great. I'm just excited. I really love these movies. Um. Yeah, I'm, okay, so we ha I have a couple of things to look forward to this one. So I guess let's just dive in, because I, I don't really know much about this one. I don't know what we're heading into, but I'm excited for the villain, and I'm excited for them to kind of, like, work together. Uh, so I guess let's just go into it. He is ready to lead. And our force, our Chitauri, will follow. Is that Loki and the... Will be his and a human. What can they do but burn? Is Loki the villain in this movie? All personnel, the evacuation order has been confirmed. I hope it explains how it happened with the Tesseract at the ending of Thor. When Loki was in, like, the mirror. Is that Robin? From How I Met Your Mother? How bad is it? That is! Sir, we don't know. Okay. I need to focus. I'm just excited. We're prepared for this, Doctor. Harnessing energy from space. But we don't have the harness. Our calculations are far from complete. And she's throwing off interference, radiation. Nothing harmful. Low levels of gamma radiation. 
That can be harmful. It's Where's Agent Bart? It's just like Talk. active. If there's any tampering, sir, it wasn't at this end. At this end? Yeah, the cube is a doorway to the other end of space, right? What? The doors open from both sides. It's a door to the other end of space? So, okay. So was Loki able to... <laughs> what the... So was he able to somehow... Sir? I need an explanation. put down the spear! <laughs> I can't believe he's a villain! I did not expect that at all. You have heart. Huh. He's... He's making little soldiers. You will know peace. Yeah, you say peace. I kinda think you mean the other thing. Sir, it's Rector Fury is stalling. This place is about to blow. Drop a hundred feet of rock on us. It's right. The portal is collapsing in on itself. We've got maybe two minutes before this goes critical. Well then. <gasps> no, he has a he has a vest on. You can never be too careful. There's no way. <laughs> okay, let's go. No, no, no. Leave it. Leave it. Go. <laughs> oh shit. Clear upstairs, sir. You need to go. Oh. Holy crap. <gasps> Director Fury, do you copy? The Tesseract is with a hostile force. I have men down. Hill? A lot of men still under. Don't know how many survivors. Colson, get back to base. This is a level seven. As of right now, we are at war. What do we do? Operation? <laughs> I got- <laughs> I got the chills! I'm so excited! Holy frick! <laughs> oh man, I love her hair. This will shave new material now. Zelensky Plaza, third floor. We have an F-22 exactly eight miles out. Put the woman on the phone or I will blow up the block before you can make the lobby. I'm in the middle of an interrogation. This moron is giving me everything. I don't give everything. Hmm. Look, you can't pull me out of this right now. Natasha. Barton's been compromised. Let me put you on hold. <laughs> I'll brief you on everything when you get back. But first, we need you to talk to the big guy. Coulson, you know that Stark trusts me about as far as he can throw me. Oh. I've got Stark. You get the big guy. Hulk? I, uh, assume the whole place is surrounded? Just you and me. Who are you? Natasha Romanoff. Are you here to kill me, Miss Romanoff? Because that's not gonna work out for everyone. No, no, of course not. I'm here on behalf of S.H.I.E.L.D. Doctor, we're facing a potential global catastrophe. <laughs> well, those I actively try to avoid. This is the Tesseract. It has the potential energy to wipe out the planet. What does Fury want me to do? Swallow it? He wants you to find it. It emits a gamma signature that's too weak for us to trace. Talk to Fury. He needs you on this. He needs me in a cage? No one's gonna put you in a cage. STOP LYING TO ME! Holy sh... I'm sorry. That was me. I just wanted to see what you do. Why don't we do this the easy way where you don't use that and the 
other guy doesn't make a mess. Okay? Oh. Natasha. Stand down. We're good here. Just you and me. Damn. <laughs> that was scary. But I believe with the right push, they can be exactly what we need. War isn't won by sentiment, Director. No. It's won by soldiers. All right. <laughs> We've made some mistakes along the way. Some very recently. You here with a mission, sir? I am. Trying to get me back in the world? Trying to save it. Hide your secret weapon. Howard Stark fished that out of the ocean when he was looking for you. Who took it from you? He's called Loki. He's not from around here. There's a lot we'll have to bring you up to speed on if you're in. That's so crazy. I'm the world thinking about- has gotten <clears throat> even stranger than you already know. At this point, I doubt anything would surprise me. There's a debriefing packet waiting for you back at your apartment. That's so crazy. Is there he anything like, you can tell us about the test? Doesn't know much about like know that year. You should have left it in the ocean. This is from the 1900s, and now it's like. <laughs> Agent Coulson of Shield is on the line. I'm not in. I'm actually out. Sir, I'm afraid he's insisting. Gross, fine, Jarvis. I got a date. <laughs> That's so cool how he did that while he was walking. Give yourself some credit. Stark Tower is your baby. Give yourself 12% of the credit. <laughs> 12%. An argument can be made for 15. 12%? Well, for I my baby? did do all the heavy lifting. Literally, oh. I lifted the heavy things. And sorry, but the security snafu? That was on you. Oh. My private elevator. You mean our elevator? You, if you have reached the life model decoy of Tony Stark, please leave a message. This is urgent. Then leave it urgent. Security breach is on you. Mr. Stark. <laughs> Security breach. The Avengers initiative was scrapped. I thought, and I didn't even qualify. I didn't know that either. Yeah, <laughs> did it. I'm volatile, self-obsessed, don't play well with others. That I did know. This isn't about personality profiles anymore. Whatever. Ms. Potts? Whatever. <laughs> you know, I thought <clears throat> we were having a moment. I was having 12% of a moment. I'm going to take the jet to DC tonight. Tomorrow. You have homework. You have a lot of homework. Well, what if I didn't? If you didn't? Yes. You mean when you finished? Well, no. um, then... <laughs> Square deal, flesh it. Defeat! I was a king! The rightful king of Asgard. Betrayed. <sighs> Your ambition is little. And born of childish need. We look beyond the earth to the greater world. The Tesseract will unveil. You don't have the Tesseract yet. <sighs> I don't threaten. If you fail, if the Tesseract is kept from us, there will be no realm, no barren moon, no crevice where he cannot find you. Something sweet as pain. Who is that? I've never seen him. I, have I? <laughs> no? This from a different universe, perhaps? So who is Loki working with right now? I don't think we have we I've never seen that. I've never seen that thing before. <laughs> I don't I don't think I have. I tend to be forgetful, but I don't think I've seen him. My next target. Tell me what you need. I need a distraction. And an eyeball. He shoots arrows? I don't really know much about him. We got a hit. Location? Stuttgart, Germany. 28 Kuningstrasse. He's not exactly hiding. Captain? You're mm. That's a distraction. Oh, I mean, I mean. 
I feel like they would they would at least have like an inkling on it because that's such a public setting. Like obvious that he wants to be um, seen, but at the same time, they have to do everything they can, I guess. I don't I'm imagining Captain America going up against Loki. No! Is this not your natural state? It's the unspoken truth of humanity. You were made to be ruled. In the end, That's you will true. always kneel. Not to men like you. There are no men like me. There are always men like you. Look to your elder people. Let him be an example. Oh! You know, the last time I was in Germany and saw a man standing above everybody else, <clears throat> we ended up disagreeing. The soldier. <laughs> Neil. Not today. Agent Romanov. You miss me? <laughs> Dude, Iron Man is so <laughs> He's awesome, man. He's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Make a move, reindeer games. Mr. Stark. Captain. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry. Where is this coming from? What's His minions or what? Scared of a little lightning? I'm not overly fond of what follows. It's Thor? Wait, at this point... Oh. We need a plan of attack! I have a plan. Attack. <laughs> Did, is this- is this Thor's, like, first reaction to noticing that Loki isn't dead? Or did he know? Oh, I missed you too. Do I look to be in a gaming mood? Okay, he- Oh, maybe he knew. <laughs> Thought you dead. Okay, here you go. Did you mourn? Listen well, brother. I'm listening. Shit. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Uh, Shakespeare in the park? Does mother know? You <laughs> so. This is beyond you, metal man. <laughs> uh. Until then, stay out of the way, tourist. Okay. Fuck, they're gonna be fighting while Loki's just like chilling? Oh no. How about that? It's crazy the amount of power that each of them have based on like the source of power that they I guess you could say are made from or made from That's enough Now I don't know what you plan on doing here I've come here to put an end to Loki's schemes and prove it Put that hammer down Uh yeah no bad call he loves his hammer. You want me to put the hammer down What? <laughs> Are we done here? This is what I mean. Like you, like <clears throat> the level of, of <laughs> that's crazy. I did not, I did not expect that to happen.
He's he's scary. He really grows on you, doesn't he? Loki's gonna drag this out. Thor, what's his play? He has an army called the Chitauri. Chitauri? Not Asgard nor any world known. And he's my brother. He killed 80 people in two days. He's adopted. I think it's about the mechanics. Iridium, <laughs> what do they need the Iridium it's for? It's a stabilizing agent. No hard feelings, point break. You got a mean swing. Also, means the portal can open as wide and stay open as long as Loki wants. That man is playing Galaga. Thought we wouldn't notice, but we did. How does Fury even see these? He turns. Sounds exhausting. <laughs> the rest of the raw materials, Agent Burton can get his hands on pretty easily. Well, I promise a stress free environment, no tension, no surprises. Ow! Hey! Nothing? Are you nuts? <laughs> you really have got a lid on it, haven't you? What's your secret? Mellow jazz, bongo drums, huge bag of weed? Is everything a joke to you? Funny things are. Threatening the safety of everyone on this ship isn't funny. I'm sorry, did you say- Jarvis has been running it since I hit the bridge. In a few hours, I'll know every dirty secret S.H.I.E.L.D. has ever tried to hide. Blueberry? Yet you're confused about why they didn't want you around. An intelligence organization that fears intelligence? Historically, not awesome. I think Loki's trying to wind us up. This is a man who means to start a war, and if we don't stay focused, he'll succeed. We have orders. We should follow them. Oh my god, there's like two different um, <clears throat> things going on. You're all about style, aren't you? Of the people in this room, which one is A, wearing a spangly outfit, and B, not of use? Steve. Tell me none of this smells a little funky to you. Just find the cube. Damn. That's the guy my dad never shut up about? Wondering if they shouldn't have kept him on ice. <laughs> I honestly thought they had the test wreck. Well, I mean, they were actually like doing shit on it. I just assumed that they didn't want anybody to take it to have that power. But now it makes sense. I didn't even like think of that. Oh, he's doing all the physicality of it. Agent Barton was sent to kill me. He made a different call. And what will you do if I vow to spare him? Not let you out. Oh, no, but I like this. Your world in the balance, and you bargain for one man. His smile fits him so perfectly when he, like, smiles like that. You lie and kill in the service of liars and killers. You pretend to be separate. To have your own code. Something that makes up for the horrors. But they are part of you. And they will never go away. I won't touch Barton. Not until I make him kill you. Slowly. Intimately. In every way he knows you fear. And then he'll wake just long enough to see his good work. And when he screams, I'll split his skull. This is my bargain, you mewling quim. Holy shh. You're a monster. <laughs> oh no, you brought the monster. So, Banner, that's your play. What? Loki means to unleash the Hulk. Keep Banner in the lab, I'm on my way. Send Thor as well. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> Holy shit, bruh. Loki is manipulating you. And you've been doing what exactly? You didn't come here because I bat my eyelashes at you. Yes, and I'm not leaving because suddenly you get a little twitchy. I'd like to know why S.H.I.E.L.D. is using the Tesseract <clears throat> to build weapons of mass destruction. Because of him. Me. Last year, Earth had a visitor from another planet who had a grudge match that leveled a small town. My people want nothing but peace with your planet. But you're not the only people out there, are you? Oof. And you're not the only threat. Your work with the Tesseract is what drew Loki to it and his allies. It is a signal to all the realms that the Earth is ready for a higher form of war. A higher Ooh. form? You forced our hand. We had to come up with a nuclear some... deterrent. Because that always calms everything right down. Remind me again how you made your fortune, Stark. I'm sure if he still made weapons, Stark would be neck deep. Wait, wait, hold on. How Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> We're a time bomb. You need to step away. Why shouldn't the guy let off a little steam? You know damn well why. Back off. Oh, I'm starting to want you to make me. Big man in a suit of armor. 
Oh my God. Take that off. What are you? Genius, billionaire, playboy, philanthropist. <laughs> yeah. I know guys with none of that worth 10 of you. You're not the guy to make the sacrifice play, to lay down on a wire and let the other guy crawl over you. I think I would just cut the wire. You know, you may not be a threat, but you better stop pretending to be a hero. You're a laboratory experiment, Rogers. Everything special about you came out of a bottle. Oh my God. This is the, this is the time where everything goes down when there's just a bunch of emotional chaos. <laughs> You drag me back into this freak show and put everyone here at risk. You want to know my secret, Agent Romanoff? You want to know how I stay calm? Dr. Banner, put down the scepter. Got it. So many things that I just learned. Put on the suit, let's find out. I'm not afraid to hit an old man. Put on the suit. <laughs> afraid to hit an old man. Oh my God. Put on the suit. Yep. <laughs> That's crazy. Like when it comes, it's kind of crazy because you think that they wouldn't mix just in general, but as soon as chaos does hit and things like this happen, it's like every single one of them has that a uh, uh, specific passion and motivation that makes them, I feel like, work together well. They already know like the the, the goal. Keep that engine down. They're they're imperfectly perfect. And Bruce, you gotta fight it. This is just what Loki wants. We're gonna be okay. Listen to me. We're gonna be okay. All right. Shh. There, on my life, I will get you out of this. You will walk away and never ever. Your life. Shit. Bring the carrier <laughs> This just got a whole lot more messy. Enemy's banner. Try to think. God, he just gets more angry. <laughs> We <laughs> just stuck him. <gasps> Damn, dude. Uh, <gasps> sorry. <laughs> Fuck. No. Oh, he's... Are you ever not going to fall for that? He's good. <laughs> oh shit, he's gonna... He can't. Move away, please. You like this? We started working on the prototype after you sent the destroyer. Even I don't know what it does. You wanna find out? He killed him? Like... Loki really- Loki... He just goes for it. 
Holy shit. Sorry, I keep cussing. It's like, you know when usually when you have the villains in the movies, you, they talk for five minutes and then they, like, end up not being able to, like, thoroughly fin uh, succeed in their plan? I feel like Loki just kind of goes for it, and then you're just like, holy, that actually happened, and... I don't know how to explain it, but... You're going to lose. It's in your nature. You lack conviction. I don't think I... So that's what it does. Oh god, I hope he doesn't die. <laughs> Cap, hit the lever. I need a minute here! Lever. Now! Jesus! I can't do this! Marvel really knows just how to... boss the god rabbited just stay awake eyes on me oh i'm clocked out here not an option it's okay boss he really this was never gonna work if they didn't have something Agent Colson is down. The medical team is on its way to your location. They're here. They called it. Holy shit. These were in Phil Colson's jacket. Guess he never did get you to sign them. I got nothing for you. Lost my one good eye. <laughs> there was an idea called the Avengers Initiative. The idea was to bring together a group of remarkable people, see if they could become something more, see if they could work together when we needed them to, to fight the battles that we never could. Hmm. Phil Coulson died still believing in that idea in Heroes. Did I hurt anybody? There's nobody around here to get hurt. You did scare the hell out of some pigeons, though. Lucky. Or just good aim. You were awake when you fell. You saw? The whole thing, right through the ceiling, big and green and buck-ass nude. <laughs> yeah. You an alien? No. Well then, son, you've got a condition. You should have waited. You should have... Sometimes there isn't a way out, Tony. Right. I've heard that before. Is this the first time you lost a soldier? We are not soldiers. I'm not marching in Fury's Fife. Neither am I. He's got the same blood on his hands that Loki does. But right now we gotta put that behind us and get this done. That's just previews. This is this is opening night, and Loki, he's a full tilt diva. He wants flowers, he wants parades, he wants a monument built to the skies with his name plastered. Son of a bitch. I love the way that, um, like, how differently their brains work. And, like, mustering up... Time to go. ...these things, like, go how where? to figure out... I'll tell you on the way. Can you fly one of those jets? What the villain okay. could possibly be planning or thinking. You got a suit? Yeah. Then suit up. The Chitauri are coming. Nothing will change that. What have I to fear? The Avengers. That's what we call ourselves. Sort of like a team. Earth's mightiest heroes type thing. Yes. I've met them. It takes us a while to get any traction, I'll give you that one. But let's do a head count here. Your brother, the demigod. <laughs> he probably hates him. Who kind of lives up to the legend. A man with breathtaking anger management issues, a couple of master assassins, and you! You've managed to piss off every single one of them. 
Those things that, that he the plan. Not a great plan. I have an army. We have a Hulk. There's no throne. There is no version of this where you come out on top. Maybe your army comes, and maybe it's too much for us, but it's all on you. Because if we can't protect the Earth, you can be damn well sure we'll avenge it. <laughs> How will your friends have time for me when they're so busy fighting you? <gasps> this usually works. Well, performance issues, you know, it's not uncommon. One out of five. <laughs> <laughs> you will all fall before me. Deploy! Deploy! Oh, shh. <laughs> That's so sick. <laughs> They're coming? Fuck, they're f they're And they're all using the power of the Tesseract. That is insane. Is it Oh my god. Oh my god. See, still working on believing. Where's Banner? Is he shown up yet? Banner. Are they gonna be posted? The think this madness will end with your rule. Hmm. It's too late. It's too late to stop it. No. We can together. Yeah, there's no way. He's literally been going fucking back and forth with him. He doesn't give a sh like, does he? I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to it's like he fights himself. I could, I, I don't know, maybe he really is, like, I don't... I can't tell if Loki, like, fights for his morality or not, because sometimes you think you see it, but you... But it's not. And he's... Uh, to Thor, his own brother, he's just, like... Unless he puts him in a position where he actually knows that he will not die, because... I was thinking, like, he's literally has tried murdering him plenty of times. But has he? Or does he just put him in a position... Enough to like where he almost dies, but he know he won't. I don't know. I'm still trying to understand we got this. Okay, go. him. You think you can hold him off? You take them through the basement or through the subway. You keep them off the streets. I need a perimeter as far back as 39th. Why the hell should I take orders from you? <laughs> That's why. <laughs> I need men in those buildings. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. There's certain parts that like give me goosebumps, but it causes my eyes to like water a bit. Uh, How do we do this? As a team, I have unfinished business with Loki. Yeah? Get in line. Save it. Hmm. Loki's gonna keep this fight focused on us, and that's what we need. Without him, these things could run wild. We got Stark up top. He's gonna need us to. I forgot about it. Stark, we got him. Banner? Just like you said. Then tell him to suit up. I'm bringing the party to you. Uh, Dr. Banner. Now might be a really good time for you to get angry. That's my secret, Captain. I'm always angry. Well, you know, for a second there. <laughs> Shh. Oh, 
Oh God. Barton, I want you on that roof. Eyes on everything. Call out patterns and strays. Stark, you got the perimeter. Anything gets more than three blocks out, you turn it back or you turn it to ash. Can you give me a lift? Right. Better clench up, Legolas. You gotta try and bottleneck that portal. Slow him down. You got the lightning. Light the bastards up. Hmm. You and me, we stay here on the ground. We keep the fighting here. And Hulk. <laughs> Smash. <laughs> I wish I wish I, I like I can't contain like my <laughs> that is I mean every single one of them is just like the council is on amazing that's that Stark got a lot of stray sniffing your tail Oh I definitely haven't seen this by the way I don't know if you can tell I forgot to update you guys. I don't- I just don't think I remembered anything, so... I haven't. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> he just ran through the entire office. <laughs> I like- I like the sound of his hammer. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Maybe, maybe he'll be able to realize something. Enough! You are all of you beneath me. I am a god, you dull creature, and I will not be bullied by that. <laughs> <laughs> Loki scepter. Energy. He knows. Well, can fight. Can you do I something? I, I, did. I built in the safety to cut their power source. Loki scepter. It may be able to close the portal. Director Fury is no longer in command. Override order 7 Alpha 1 1. 7 Alpha 1 1 confirmed. We're go for takeoff. You have a missile headed straight for the city. How long? Three minutes. Max. Stay low and wipe out mid -tech. Jarvis, put everything we got into the thrusters. I just did. Packages sent. Detonation in two minutes, 30 seconds. Mark. I can shut the portal down. Do it. No, wait. Stark, these things are still coming. I got a nuke coming in. It's going to blow in less than a minute. Oh, he's going to send it up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, this thing's crazy. And I know just where to put it. Save the rest for the turn, Jay. So, shall I try this pause? Might as well. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I think I'm shaking. He has to close it out. Okay. Was gonna get him. <laughs> I 
<laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what just happened? Please tell me nobody kissed me. <laughs> if it's all the same to you, I'll have that drink now. <sighs> Like there's a lot they're not telling us. Superheroes in New York? Kimmy. <laughs> I was wondering where he was. We get into a situation like this again, what happens then? They'll come back. You really sure about that? I am. Why? Because we'll need them to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's see if there's a credit scene. Humans. They are not the cowering wretches we were promised. They are unruly and therefore cannot be ruled. He's bowing down. Challenge them. Bowing down to. They're under Thanos? What the? I don't remember any of that. Wait, is the next movie with him? I don't know the next movie. <laughs> there was a lot that happened in this one. I feel like for the most part, there was one thing that I remember while I was watching this movie that I specifically wanted to talk about. And it was, there was a part where Captain America and Iron Man were kind of like, oh, I'm sorry. No, was it them? Yeah, I think it was. And <clears throat> they were like going back each other, just like bickering. And right when obviously the chaos happened and the disaster started happening, he told him to get suit up, basically. And I found that scene like because because every single one of them has like almost similar purposes in what they do and basically making the world a better place and and all of those things like they have a goodness in them and a bravery in them that just fits together so well. And when it comes to that, it's like, yeah, they can have differences. Um, they can have like, they can have oppositions. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but opposition. I always, those words, my Spanish brain that can't say those words, but that, but at the end of the day, when it comes down to it with all of these things, it looks like they won't work well together, but because they all have the same passion and, 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 I don't know if passion was the right thing, but like motivation and and bravery and all of this, they end up working well. But even then, like each of their brains has a different form of analyzing the things that are displayed in front of them or like trying to figure it out. They all have different ways of thinking that works so well as a team. And I just think that's like really, really like fascinating to see because you just can't like at least with me, when I'm watching the movie, I can't imagine the thought process that goes into it at, at a at a at a moment where you're that pressured to make a decision. And then I also wanted to talk about Loki, the way he makes decisions to. I said this in between the film too, but like normally when you have a villain, right? If they have you at hand, they'll take so long to talk about something and say well this and da, da 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 and they'll like stall for like the longest time um intentionally not you know stalling but they'll just like want to make you feel something or like talk out of their ass a little bit whatever and then by the time it gets there to the point where they kill you or they want to kill them or or hurt them or whatever they end up not being able to do so because of the plan that's set beforehand from the other person but when it comes to loki which watching this film was really crazy seeing it because his plan was thought out and he just did one thing after another like there was no stopping him which i think was a cool 
thing to see coming from a villain because I feel like I'm so used to seeing villains that just take forever to roll out their plan because they have like this type of revengeful resentment feeling that they want to like linger in while they're talking to the whoever it is that they're talking to or want to kill or whatever. And then Loki is just like one thing after another. Go, 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 go. And it, it, it it's so surprising because at one point you're just like, I'm just like looking at the movie and then exactly what he planned out he does and i'm like holy sh- like he that, that that just happened like there's no there's no second thought to it or or uh stalling especially uh, like when he dropped thor from the thing from 300 feet or whatever it was that he dropped him the plate the case the cage and he just did it just like that and he's just so quick to do those things and i'm like so unused to being caught off guard even though that's exactly what it should be. I, I hope I'm making sense. Also, I don't know who who he was kind of working with in this specific movie. I think it's called The Others, um, only because I saw from the uh, from the subtitle it said The Others. So I'm, I'm I don't I kind of want to know a little bit more about that and who he was working with because I don't recall ever seeing them in the movies that we've watched so far, and I didn't know that. Even then, they were, they're under Thanos, which is crazy to me. I don't, and, and now I'm thinking, is Thanos going to be in the next movie? Like, is he, like, I, I don't know what my next movie is. And that's probably why I'm like, what is going on? Um, yeah, so, so, yeah. It was also really cool to see how they all kind of met with each other. And that brings me back to the first point of how well they work together. Um, because even with all those differences in just meeting and, and all of that and, you know, the chemistry, not really chemistry, all of that combining. But at the end of the day, they all have that set in stone in their, like, I don't want to say soul or heart, but like set in stone of what they believe in and, and who they are as a person, which is very similar to each other. Uh, apart from like characteristics and personality and all of that, they all have a set in stone that they all kind of combine with or uh yeah, that they all connect with. And that's what makes it work so well. So, ugh. next point. Also, one of the things that I love about Marvel is these movies, uh, for me, when I watch, like, all the movies that I've watched so far uh, for the MCU, it's like, I'm going to be honest here, right? When I watch them and I see who is up against who, I have, like, this... Hopelessness is a, is a strong word, but once you, like, for example, in this movie, when all of those things started coming out from the other universe or whatever, I felt doomed for a second. I'm like, how is this going to happen? And I also felt that way with the other movies when Iron Man was up against, I mean, I'm sorry, when, um, um, when Iron Man was against Whiplash and then Hulk was against, uh, I, I think I, I looked it up, but Abomination, I guess. Just like those little th- or even with spider-man like just watching those go hey i was like where is spider-man um watching the movies is like i there's a sense of they're this they're not gonna survive like they're not gonna win something's gonna happen and it's so scary but there's always something that ends up playing out that just comes together and it just works because of how they think and how that like their thought their th- their thought process goes Obviously, not my thought process. I love that it makes me feel this way because you never know. Just like what happened with Captain America when he went straight into the thing. And you, I honestly thought that he was going to be able to see her again for the dance. But this this one also made me feel that way. I legitimately was like, how in the name of the Avengers are they going to get out of here? Like, I don't, I didn't, I honestly didn't know what to, I didn't know what to expect. Because I think this, uh, I also feel like the MCU movies are also very unexpected. So it's just a scary, it's just a scary thought. And that's how I made me feel. Oh, also, I don't know if I'm talking too much. I'll do this my last one. But I also wanted to talk about Thor and Loki. Because at some point in the film as well, I said or asked, like, is Thor ever going to give up on him? And Thor doesn't seem the type of person who will ever give up on him because it's his brother and they were raised together and the love that he has for him. But Loki, and then also, also that I had spoken about throughout the film, when Loki goes to kill Thor, or the chances that he goes to kill him, 
or like doesn't care or we think that he doesn't or I think that he doesn't care whatever I think about it like he goes to destroy his life he does this right but somehow somehow Thor always survives at least from what I've seen so when I think about it I, I, I'm just trying to see if Loki does it on purpose because again at, throughout the film I did talk about does Loki ever fight against like his morality throughout this like does he obviously he must have some type of love deep for his brother because they were raised together they they you know and he has like this resentment obviously and he wants revenge because he feels that Thor is superior to him and 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 his father loved him more because he was the actual son and so on and so forth but I still feel like he probably does still fight for his morality in like certain scenes, but he could, I mean, also he could be playing character because of what he wants. And, but I, I, I just had that question in my mind about the fact that whenever he does or goes about killing Thor, or maybe he's just not able to, but when he does go about it, there's always like a speck of chance that Thor is able to get out of it. Like he's not gonna die. But I just like was wondering if he was doing that on purpose because he subconsciously subconsciously is fighting against his morality when it comes to the love for his brother and stuff like that. So I don't, you know, whatever. I thought about that during the film. And besides that, I don't know what our M next MCU movie is, but um, I'm excited. And I, I, I don't know. I'm just really excited. And then we're going to be continuing Clone Wars for Patreon. And we're going to be continuing Game of Thrones for Patreon. So I'll see you guys then and if you guys have any questions or any little background details because i know um marvel has a lot of those in these movies which i also think is really cool or any easter eggs and things like that comment them below and um i always read them um and i'll see you guys for the next one make sure to eat make sure to rest and make sure to stay hydrated